Hi, I'm Wesley Cash with Noria. I'm here with Matt Adams, a technical consultant here at Noria. And Matt, we've got some products to review today. Great. So TTI sent us some of their, their breathers. And it looks like, you know, one of the ones that they sent us here is the, the TT4. Okay. So I mean, pretty decent sized breather, you know, big uh, capacity. It's gonna last quite a while in service. Then the, the TT4-CV. Okay. TT4, TT4-CV, the CV stands for? So the CV is their check valve style breather. So the okay. TT4 has the reticulated foam on the bottom and the top to distribute air evenly, help mitigate any oil misting. Uh, the TT4-CV still has the foam at the top, but at the bottom it's been replaced with a couple check valves. Okay, that makes sense, CV, check valve. That's right. Now, obviously big breathers, they also sent us some of the, the smaller ones. So this is the, the TT2. Okay. And then it looks like also the, the TT2CV. So once again, check valve equivalent. Sure. Now a couple of their you know catalogs that came through here as well, you know, they make them in all different sizes. They make replacement cartridges, a lot of different adapters. So some really good uh, tools from TTI. I know that you're out in the field quite a bit and you visit facilities. Where do you typically see desiccant breathers used? Right, Russ. Great question. So specifically with desiccant breathers, we talk about headspace management, right? Headspace management being the area from the oil level itself to the top of the reservoir or the fill port, right? That's so right. for this specific application, we want to make sure we keep this area as clean, cool, and dry as possible. Right. And we can do that through the use of desk and breathers by utilizing those to minimize the amount of particle ingression as well as moisture ingression getting in a system. Sure, so they're going to dehumidify and clean the air because Plugs like this, they don't do anything for us. Exactly, this is typically OEM standard coming in something like this, and we want to replace these guys a lot of the time with a desiccant breather, right? So we're cleaning up that system itself. So with these TTI breathers, I believe the rating on these guys are about three micron absolute. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So not only are they drying the air coming in, but with a three uh, micron absolute particle phase, they're keeping out stuff that is incredibly small and really damaging to the machine. Absolutely. Typically the size of stuff we're concerned about with that film thickness range, right? That's, that's right. So the, the check valves that they have here, where would you typically see a check valve being used? Right. I'm glad they brought us two different types, right? Standard versus check valve. So with check valve uh, or the CV application here, we're going to utilize those in lower flow applications. Think about a uh, wet sump gearbox where we're utilizing lower flow uh, in areas where we may have high humidity. So think about power generation with a bunch of steam. steam. Yeah, uh, maybe food grade industry, great application for in the ship, we have a bunch of wash downs, right? Sanitation, that, exactly. that makes so sense. Great application for that CV or that check valve. Now with the standard setup with the TT2 or the TT4, now with those guys, those are typically uh, utilized more in hydraulic systems or circulating systems, bulk storage systems. Something where the oil level is going to fluctuate. Absolutely, more. yeah, kind of a change breathing in and out, right? Okay, so Power we want to make sure that it doesn't restrict the breathing as much. With the check valve, this is going to keep things sealed off a little bit better. Right. Uh, not exposed to the ambient conditions as much, so we'd expect to see what with the check valve. Yeah, typically utilizing that check valve extended life of the desk in itself, right? That makes sense. Yeah. So in this application, we, we've got a, a mock up here of a, of a pump. Obviously, we're doing away with this, right? Absolutely, right. So with this guy right here, little Gold's pump set up in a lot of different industries, a lot of different applications, and it really depends on where we're utilizing this in the field, right? So for this guy specifically, smaller reservoir, typically I'm probably gonna lean more towards that TT2 or TT2 CV. Sure. Now it depends on which application we're we'll gonna be utilizing it as well, right? Which industry? So a lot of steam and wash down may lean more towards that TT2 CV. Sure. And I know that in a lot of cases, you know, we're gonna thread this directly onto the housing. Right. But we may opt for the use of an adapter to get the breather attached as well. Sure. And Wes, with a couple benefits with that as well, right? So sometimes, like I said, thread size not matching up, we're gonna use this adapter. Another great util uh, utilization with this adapter is sometimes times tying in a six inch to 12 inch nipple or maybe a couple of 45s or wines in here. And the reason we're gonna be doing that is because sometimes with these splash uh, pumps, we'll have some issues with uh, oil misting and whatnot that's gonna get up in our system, maybe cake the bottom of this desk. That right? makes sense because in here, pretty turbulent environment, sure. that oil mist migrates into the desiccant. If it coats the desiccant, it's yeah. pretty much useless at that point. Right. right. Now, I noticed when I was installing this that on the label of these TTI products, they actually put a space for the installation date. Yeah, it's a great little tidbit they added here as well, right? So with this specifically, it gives the operator or the maintenance craft a little feedback mechanism to let them know, hey, I need to make sure I put that installation date on here, right? 
two reasons we want that typically, right? For one, we want to know, do we have this specific desk and breather in the right application, right? Has it been there a day or two and it's been exhausted? What's right. going on with that? Maybe we need a different application, or maybe with this guy right here, we also want to utilize from an inventory management standpoint, right? Thinking about, hey, do we have the correct maxes and men set up to facilitate our need at that site? That makes sense. Now, when we go to install this, you know, there's plugs on the bottom and such like that. Mm -hmm. You'd have to look at your specific breather and the application, know how many plugs to sure. pull, if you pull all of them or a few of them. But something that I like to, to teach in my classes and that I do out in the field is when I see these desiccant breathers, they change color when they become saturated with moisture right but you can take it a little step further and actually look and see which direction is changing color from sure with these TTI products they breathe from the bottom of the breather up through the desiccant down okay. into the center tube right so if we're dehumidifying the air coming into the system it's going to change color from the bottom to the top now remember, desiccant breathers work both directions. So not only dehumidifying incoming air, it dehumidifies the headspace of the machine right. as well. So let's say that we've got uh, wet oil or maybe water intrusion into the housing. So in that case, we'd expect to see a color change from the top down. That makes sense. So taking a little bit extra time and really digging into seeing what's going on with that desiccant. Yeah, fantastic feedback tool, doing a little bit of investigating on your own while you're out in the field, right? So. That's right. So for more information on TTI products and not only their breathers, but other things available, please visit the website below.